Darth Malgus was a human male Sith Lord of the resurgent Sith Empire during the time of the Great Galactic War to the Third Galactic War. He was born under the name, Viridun, within Imperial space, and raised by his adoptive father. While still young, Viridun killed a Twi'ek servant on his father's estate, revealing the dark will behind his sensitivity to the Force. The young boy was subsequently sent to the Sith Academy on the Imperial capital of Drummond Kars, where he became a Sith warrior and a successful commander of the Imperial military. During a trip to the Outer Rim world of Geonosis, Viridun discovered the Twi'ek slave girl Elena Daru and took her as his own. Although she was technically his slave, the two fell in love with one another and fought side by side in many battles during the Great Galactic War against the Galactic Republic. Viridun later eschewed his birth name and adopted the Sith moniker of Darth Malgus. In the beginning, Malgus and his master Darth Vindican had led the victorious recapture of the Sith world Korriban, before the former struck down the latter for being injured at the hands of Jedi Master Kao Ken Darik. At the height of the war, Malgus led a surprise assault on the core world of Alderaan. Though initially successful, Malgus and his forces were defeated in a concentrated Republic counterattack led by his nemesis from Korriban, future Grandmaster Satali Shan. The Sith Lord was heavily wounded during the battle, and was forced to wear a respirator for the remainder of his life. In 3653 BBY, the Empire entered into sham peace negotiations with the Republic, which were truthfully nothing more than a distraction from the Sith's true target, the Republic capital of Coruscant. Malgus was chosen by his superior, Darth Angrel, to participate in the attack on Coruscant as the leader of a strike team that would invade the Jedi Temple. Malgus succeeded in killing a substantial number of Jedi defenders, including Jedi Master Ven Zalo, who has been recognized as Malgus's most notable kill, before the Sith fleet arrived to lay waste to the rest of the world. By the end of the engagement, the Sith had destroyed the Jedi Temple, killed half of the members of the Jedi High Council, and disgraced the Jedi Order in the eyes of the Republic. Although Malgus had been under the impression that the Imperial Armada was going to raise Coruscant and destroy the Republic once and for all, the battle was ultimately used only as leverage in the peace negotiations on Alderaan. While the Alderaanian summit progressed, the Sith settled into an occupation of Coruscant. Malgus was placed in charge of orbital security, but the Sith Lord defied his orders and traveled back to Coruscant's surface to strike against the renegade Jedi Aaron Lanera, who was targeting Malgus for his murder of her master, Ven Zalo. Although Lanera ultimately failed, the conflict caused Malgus to become disillusioned with the Empire and to review his relationship with Daru as a weakness. Thus, he was forced to kill his lover to preserve his own power which he later used to cleanse the Empire of the politicians whom he blamed for allowing the Republic to survive. During the Cold War years that followed the successful peace negotiations, Malgus led Sith forces into the unknown regions, claiming previously unknown territories for the Empire. Towards the end of the Cold War, following the presumed death of the Sith Emperor and after serving on the Dark Council, Malgus came to the fore and declared a new Empire, one free of the infighting of the Dark Council. However, in time, he was tracked down to his secret base and was defeated by the Republic and the Empire. Malgus made his return during the invasion of Ossus at the start of the Third Galactic War, serving under Emperor Darth Valron and the Sith Empire, becoming a military commander for them once more. However, following the Meridian Complex assault, Malgus went rogue, determined to expunge all physical and mental restraints used to keep him under control. <laughs> 